everyone, welcome back to Brenna's Travel Channel. Disney World is known for its exquisite food, top-notch dining, and iconic treats. I recently traveled to Disney World and got to walk around the parks and try tons of treats. I compiled a list of 12 best treats I've tried in Disney World. Some of these you must try, others it's a must be good. Coming in last on my list was the white chocolate figment puzzle. This cute little puzzle is made out of white chocolate and has a picture of figment printed on the top. On the other side are little cups of edible paint and candies. I bought this Instagrammable tree thinking it was going to be delicious and cute, but I was wrong. The paint made a mess everywhere. It spilled all over my sister and candies tasted like fake M&Ms that have been sitting out all day. To make matters worse, the white chocolate puzzle didn't even taste that good. If you want to purchase and try a treat based off of its appearance, go for the go and try that. The 11th treat on my list is the cannoli cake, which can be found at the Pizza Fari in Animal Kingdom. This treat is sold for $4.99 and it's a bit of a ripoff. It's simply a piece of chocolate cake garnished with a mini cannoli sitting on top. If you're a cannoli fan, check it out. If not, you can bypass this one and try something else. Another treat that's a hit or miss is the Red's Revenge Float, which can be found at the Sunshine Tree Terrace. It's essentially strawberry flavored Dole Whip with strawberry Fanta at the bottom. You could say this is a very sweet combination. Sorry, I had to. Dole Whip Obsessed Fan or Pirates of the Caribbean by an attic, you definitely should try this treat. Arg. The eighth treat on my list is the Animal Kingdom Lodge S'mores. While most of the deluxe resorts offer free s'mores, no one does it better than the Animal Kingdom Lodge. You get to roast marshmallows, pick out your chocolate and graham cracker, and then sit to eat and watch the animals. The best part is it doesn't cost anything. Remember that Animal Kingdom Lodge is very eco-friendly because of the animals, so keep in mind while you're staying there. Next up is the Lemon Blueberry Lunchbox Tart, which can be found at Woody's Lunchbox in Toy Story Land. This cute little tart has lemon filling, blueberry frosting, and is topped off with a cute little Pixar ball. It's a sweet, nice treat to end your day with. Go check this one out. All right, let's go to the Polynesian Resort where you can find the Heart of Tefiti Dole Whip. This lime flavored Dole Whip can be found exclusively at the Pineapple Lanai. Moana fans will definitely appreciate this tree as it's topped with a small purple flower that represents the Polynesian twist of it. The flower is actually edible. Will you be giving this new cone a try? Now let's go back to the Riviera Resort where you'll be able to find the Mickey Splatter Cupcake. This classic vanilla cupcake has a delicious chocolate surprise inside and is topped with a buttload of buttercream frosting. To add to the sweetness, there's real M&Ms sprinkled on the top of the icing. Miam, that's yum in French. Cantina drinks, which can be found at Olga's Cantina and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We tried a ton of these different drinks and each of them have their own unique flavor. My personal favorite was the Carbon Freeze, which is a lemon and strawberry bubble drink. Remember, in order to get into Olga's Cantina, you need to have a reservation. So don't forget to book that if you're interested in going there. We're heading over to the Riviera Resort, Disney's newest resort, where you can find one of the only gelato places in all of Disney World. Trust me, it doesn't disappoint. This sweet treat is of Italian culture is sold at the Vivioli Il Gelato Cart near the pool areas. There are so many different flavors to choose from, like vanilla, chocolate, blue magic, and limited edition flavor that is changed every month. This gelato is a nice pick-me-up after a busy day at the parks. The second best treat I tried was the Tangled Declare, which can be found at Pinocchio's Village House in Magic Kingdom. Th this little treat is almost too cute to eat. The top is decorated with little flowers and of course a chocolate frying pan. I've got a dream and it's the Tangled Declare. The best treat I tried at Disney World is the Night Blossom. This glowing drink is the symbol of Pandora and truly is a delight. You can find this at Ponga Ponga, which is right near the exit of Avatar, Flight of Passage. This drink is mixed with layers of apple and dessert pear lime made and is topped with a passion fruit boba. There couldn't be more perfect combination. 
If you're traveling to Disney World, you must try this drink. Thank you so much for watching today's treat video. More treat videos will be up soon, and I hope you take my advice with all these treats. Have a magical day.